Chief Clyde Naisai, who was wanted on suspicion of murder, money laundering, selling rhino horn without a license, and racketeering, passed away late on Sunday night from multiple gunshot wounds close to the Krugam Pumalenga International Airport. Naisai was recently appointed as chief of the Naisai Tribal Authority in Bush Bakrich. Police and prosecutors allege he is one of the kingpins in a massive poached rhino horn trafficking network. According to police spokesperson Brigadier Selvi Molala, Naisai and a driver were waiting for help with a flat tire when about 5 hooded men drove up in a BMW X5, walked to the passenger side and opened fire with high-caliber rifles. The driver was shot in the leg and is receiving treatment. Previous arrest in 2018 Naisai, with later assassinated crime boss Petros Mabuza and notorious ex-cop Joseph Big Joe Nyalangu were arrested in a police operation codenamed Project Broadbelt involving members of the Hawks, the Police Special Task Forces, SA and Parts, the NPA, the SA Revenue Service and the Department of Environmental Affairs. Millions of dollars worth of assets were seized, including homes, vehicles, trucks, trailers that had been stolen, generators, electronic equipment and animal hides. Five police officers including a captain and former Kruger Park Station commander at Skukuza, were among those detained. According to a report, according to the study, Landscapes of Fear, by Julian Reidmeyer, the syndicate is thought to have controlled a large area along Kruger National Park's western border, from Belfast and Cork to the east of Sobi Sands Game Reserve, down to the Shabalala Tribal Trust area and Hazy View. According to corporate records, the Naisai and Nyalangu families have a close relationship, as evidenced by their joint directorships in a number of shelf companies as early as 2004. In Kulu, Naisa was also the proprietor of Fengeloni Lodge. The syndicate's illicit activities, according to a police spokesman at the time of the arrest, were carried out with paramilitary discipline and included counterintelligence operations to prevent detection. From Kruger, it spread to Gauteng in KwaZulu Natal. It was apparently connected to numerous poaching incidents that were harming rhinos in the Kruger Park at the time. The remaining defendants were released on bail of R10. 000 each, with Nyalangu receiving a bail of R120, 000, Mabuza receiving R90, 000, and Naisai receiving R50, 000. In November 2021, after the matter was transferred to the Mbumalenga Division of the High Court of South Africa, the charges against Mabuza were formally dropped. He was gunned down in 2021. Charges Naisai, along with other others, was accused of a number of crimes earlier this month, including stealing conspiring to commit a crime, buying and selling rhino horns illegally, corruption, money laundering and racketeering. I in April, they were supposed to appear in court in Pumalenga. Rig Molala said that White River Police are looking into the slay. March Jensef Mwanotsi, the acting police commissioner from Pumalenga, stated that a team of investigators is working around the clock to ensure the offenders are expeditiously brought to account. Regrettably, Pumalenga no longer feels confident when using these cliches. Raidmeyer's Landscapes of Fear research claims that internal corruption, a lack of staff cohesion, a breakdown in trust, and rising organized crime in Pumalanga pose a greater threat to the park's future than poaching. But rhino poaching was what started the corrosion. Kruger's white rhino population decreased by 75% between 2011 and 2020. From roughly 10,600 to 2,607. Yet, the research claims that it has spread to include toxic politics, ingrained organized crime, deep seated inequality, and corruption. The park and the neighborhoods nearby have been seriously impacted by this. It hasn't happened all by itself. Raidmeyer claims that organized crime in Pumalanga, including kidnappings, cash in transit heists, ATM bombings, illicit mining, extortion and corruption has had an impact on crime and corruption in the park. Read more in Daily Maverick, Kruger Park enmeshed in corruption related to criminal syndicates, report the research claims that management and employee relationships are strained and toxic, poisoned by mutual mistrust and suspicion, illegal commerce, violence, and homicide within 50 kilometers of Kruger's western boundary fence, more over 2.9 million people reside. The majority of them are poor. At the end of 2022, average unemployment in the area was 46.5%. Illegal markets are prevalent nearby, and murder and other violent crimes are frequent. 
Sincere officials are terrified for their lives. Local police stations, says Raidmeyer, are riddled with corruption. They have extensive connections to organized crime organizations. They thereby provide minimally effective protection. They occasionally even act as escorts for illegal goods. Poachers take on heroic roles in this poisonous environment. Crowd sung his accolades as Petros Mabuza's casket was flown in by helicopter to his funeral and covered in a leopard hide. Chief Clyde Nysai's funeral is anticipated to be even more elaborate.